tempura style fried chicken wings so we got one cup starch one cup of flour just gonna whisk those together until they are nicely combined then we're gonna come in with two egg yolks just the yolks please get rid of those whites and then once you got that just work them into the flour and the cornstarch with your chopsticks Next, you just want to add in some nice ice cold water. I do have ice in this water, but make sure that the ice doesn't get into the actual mix. And then you're just going to want to start working it into almost like a pancake mix, I'd say. But just keep slowly adding water until you get a thin, not lumpy, quite thin looking, almost like pancake batter. That's basically what you're looking for. So then you want to get your wings into just plain flour just so they can get a nice little dusting on them to help that batter actually stick for when we go to fry. And then you just want to dunk your wing into the batter, shake off any excess, and then into the fryer. Sometimes they stick to the tong, just let it sit there for a second and it'll pop right off once it cooks a little bit. But yeah, just pop these guys in. I did these for about eight minutes or until they float basically. And then you're gonna have yourself a nice kind of golden brown, still kind of whitish looking tempura fried chicken wing. We take these suckers to the salting station. We just put them in a bowl, salt them up, get them nice, work that in. Cause we do want a little salty flavor. course we have to get our sauces ready so we have our nice house made barbecue and sweet and sour I'm lying I ordered just these in a drive-thru so it was kind of awkward and a little funny but they are the best sauces imaginable honestly on my palate the barbecue and the sweet and sour with this tempura style batter is just something else so let's get into this